So this finished as it said it would, three hours 41 minutes later. Unfortunately, as you can see from here, the dry option didn't work. Still got droplets there. I mean, it's cleaned it um, very well. Just unfortunately, the option that they actually give you, the special feature, isn't arriving. Um, let's see what they did with this. That's done pretty well. Um, hasn't done exactly the job I expected it to do. And bring it over here. It goes the same for this. So it's done some, but hasn't done everything that you'd expect it to, especially for a deep clean. So I don't know if it needs to go through another another wash, but that's pretty much a letdown, especially considering how much they advertise on what you know what it can clean. That this is the actual reality. And we look up here, and again, we've got droplets, and that didn't clean itself out. That was clean. Seemed to clean a lot better though, like than last time. No, still got little marks there. So yeah, there we go. Taking these cutlery bits out of the actual dishwasher, and as I said before, it's not very good at cleaning. Um, I don't know if I can. There we go. On the bits there. So, just to show you that. Let's show you. There we go. That's how easy it comes off, and yet the dishwasher had a lot of problems taking it off. So, got a bit there. There you go. So, yeah, it's not doing a good job. And this was on the deep clean, so I don't know what it'd actually be like on a normal clean. Get it in focus. There we go. So, yeah. Also, for some reason, that's coming out rusty, and yet that hasn't, that's been on, again, that's been on deep clean as well. Now, <coughs> the, the extra dry feature, um, according to the manual, it states that it, the temperature goes up to 65 degrees, which basically dr extra dries the plates. Now, as you can see, that's dirty. So, it's kind of failing. There you go, there. Amber, back, back. Little bits on here, on there. I mean, yes, the plates are dry, but then again, there's not really much point in being dry when it hasn't really cleaned itself well. And as I said before, this isn't clean that well. Um, this bit definitely isn't clean. Um, so, at the moment, I'm going to see, I'm going to put, again, these plates through again, um, put these two pieces, a couple of pieces of cutlery back in, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on automatic, because that apparently um, detects the, the soil level. So I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to, I think it says, well on the manual, it says here, that if you actually press this, um, there should be three dials, um, three arrows, but I'm not too sure if that's a different model, but that should actually be um, for the dry. So you press that, and that should actually dry everything. Hasn't really worked that well so far, because if the temperature actually goes up to 65 degrees and it's supposed to dry the plates, then why hasn't it dried out um, the droplets in the plastic? Because that's one of the bugbears I have at the moment with it. And if it does, you know, do an intense clean, why isn't it done the plates that easily? I mean, I can understand it's um, cleaning the plates and kind of having an issue with the grill stuff, but if it 
goes through an intense clean and doesn't do the plates and obviously it's a slight bit it's just, the feature is wrong so I'm going to go through this again put it through another three three hours and 45 minutes that it goes through which is beyond stupid when things aren't going right um, but this time I'm going to put it on automatic and see what actually goes through then and I'll do another update there we go right <clears throat> so I have figured out that you can't put plastics on this shelving um, unless there's a, I think there's a lower level actually but I don't think it still wouldn't be um, tall enough um, I'm going to try and wash this again um, see how far that goes I'll put some um, mayonnaise in the tub uh, put it out on the side and I'll also cook it for about 20 seconds in the microwave hopefully that will give it a bit of work we've also got this um, see how well that does um, this is my mum's um, cereal bowl, so see how well that does. Um, let's see. So we've got the rack that I've shown um, before. Now on the deep clean, that should come off. Um, all of it should come off, to be quite frank. Otherwise, what's the point of calling it a deep clean? And then you have the severely awfully designed um, cutlery tray so a bunch of stuff which is as you can tell dirty um, basically to see if it actually does a better job this time so let's see what happens and no doubt and don't forget one of the features of this dishwasher is the fact that it has um, a dry feature an extra dry feature which goes on for another, uh, another hour which is ridiculous in itself so what you shouldn't really um, be expecting is any of this cutlery to be wet or damp. It should be completely bone dry. So there we go. And I'm about to put it on. In fact, what I'll do... Okay. That's something else I've, I'm not really too happy about. Is the fact that you can't just come over. I mean, it's, no, there we go. The only way I turned it on is if I slid it across and not just did that. Which I think is a completely stupid um, thing to do as well. Um, so here we go. So I'm going to go for the deep clean for the pans, obviously. So give it a touch. There we go. You have to have it have it right over and not down. You have to have it right over, which I think they need to redesign because a lot of people are just going to tap it like that. I'm not going to tap it across like this. Um, both zones plus one hour for the extra drying, which adds, as you can tell, that's what an extra half an hour. Um, and it, like I say, all this should be at the front here. Shouldn't be at there. So now you won't actually see um, it starting. You won't see how much time is actually going um, going down. So yeah. So press start. Close it. That's what happens. And we'll see what happens. So see what's done. that still wet and that's on the outside so I don't still don't understand why that still hasn't dried out
again, it's just, you want a deep clean, and I would so expect this to actually be done. See, again, that hasn't been touched. See, I really, I really would expect this to actually be clean. It's, it's been through a third, it's been through a third cleaning, third, third, third deep clean. It's been through about two, two um, automatic ones. Right. So according to the ACL um, technical guy that came over. The way to actually avoid all the water, which is, as you can see in there, is to have this light, is to have this line down, okay? Now, it's actually designed to do that, so basically it holds it down. And it's not designed to do that because these are not tall enough. So you go along, and basically these aren't going to be dry because when See, it's even got bloody hair on it. Let's pull this out a bit more. Where's Bear in mind, the majority of this cutlery has actually been washed at least twice because it was the same cutlery um, the guy actually tried to wash when he was originally here. So, see. Can <laughs> The guy that actually was here um, said it's not surprising this, this some of it doesn't actually wash or some of it doesn't dry is because it's all over the place, it's all, um, all faced up. And I said, well, a lot of it, it gets moved about. Um, so a lot of these, so most, quite a bit of this on the first time round was actually lined up. And when you actually, took, when you actually um, opened it up after it circulated, it was actually like that. So... It's, it's badly designed. So, there you go. Um, still not a good job. Um, things are still not dry as it should be. Right. See? It's still... Still not dry. I do that. Can you see it? Still not dry. And this, I mean, their defense, as in the ACL defense, oh God, I can't touch that anymore. The. ACL defence was the fact that a lot of the plastics and other items um, wouldn't dry well, but it's the the crockery, such as the plates and the um, and the oh sugar and the mugs should dry because of how, what they're made of. And yet I've just shown you that they're still not dry because there's still water on the top. Um, 
the outer side of the plastic should be dry, but it's not. Um, the inside, I can kind of tell. I can understand. I can kind of understand why um, a lot, of, uh, some of it isn't actually dry because of the droplets and everything else. But you still, if, if there's a circulation, if there's a circulation of air, and there's a, a the fan is designed to push out all of, um, give it a dry more um, dry air into it. Then why isn't it the fact that the hot air inside is drying everything, drying all the plastics, no matter what it is, and just making everything dry like the dry feature it states? Because um, don't forget, the dry feature is an extra half an hour, half an hour to do its job, and yet it's not doing its job. The the deep clean is, um, I believe, an, an extra hour over the eco or the um, or the, or the, or the, or the automatic. So, and the other defence that he was giving, um, not not in defence of Samsung or whatever, but he was saying that the re the the reason why he's probably um, the the grill is probably not cleaning is because of the soil type, um, and it could be the fa face that it was the the dishwasher was only designed for like pots and pans. And I said, well, if that's the case, why isn't it actually cleaning the grill pan itself? Because that's the same sort of volume as what a normal pan would be. And I showed him, um, like I just have with you, I, I rubbed it across um, the base of it to show, um, to show them that the stuff was coming off in my hand. Um, and that's the same with the grill itself. I was going along with my hand, not very hard, and the stuff was coming off. And I was telling him, if it's deep clean and it's able to actually take the stuff off, what it's designed to do... Um, take the stuff off in pans that obviously you know heavy cooked on stuff like that. Why isn't it not cleaning the grill pan and the grill and everything else like the cutlery and stuff like that? Now don't forget with the cutlery you've pro you've probably seen you know cleaner cutlery today, but that's been through the dishwasher two or three times because obviously you've been testing it and we've been doing everything else. So that's taken what six hours, six and a half hours, something like that. To get things done is what they're supposed to be designed to do initially, minus the grill and all that, to actually get sorted out. So there we go. It's failed yet again, in my eyes anyway. Um, it's an £800 system that is very temperamental when it wants to turn itself on, when it wants to turn itself on, um, off. And even the guy, when he opened it up and shut it and put the door closed, um, the lights wouldn't come on, the power wouldn't come on, even when he touched it. So that's another thing that um, is temperamental as well. So there you go.